Nation, nag-o-offer ng free webinars like Research, Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Trainings, Google Tools Training, and many more. Made by teacher for teachers. Katuwang ng mga guro. Join na! Do you want to gain knowledge and skills from upskilling events? Matutulungan ka ng Digifield Tech Nation. Nag-o-offer ng free webinars like Research, Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Trainings, Google Tools Training, and many more. Made by teacher for teachers. Katuwang ng mga guro. Join na! Do you want to gain knowledge and skills from upskilling events? Matutulungan ka ng Digifield Tech Nation. Nag-o-offer ng free webinars like Research, Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Trainings, Google Tools Training, and many more. Made by teacher for teachers. Katuwang ng mga guro. Join na! Do you want to gain knowledge and skills from upskilling? Let us pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen.
Yan, uh, once again, good evening everyone. Good evening, Sir Art. Good evening, Sir Norman. Kumusta po? Uh, viewers, good evening. Magandang gabi po. Okay, so before anything Hello? else... Uh, good evening, Hello? sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Sir Norman, it's a good Good evening, sir. So, before anything else, siguro, sir, I encourage siguro natin yung mga viewers natin uh, to subscribe, like, share, and comment po. And then hit our notification bell for ano, uh, sa mga upcoming events natin na monotify po natin sila. Uh, automatically po. Okay, eh? eh, go ahead, sir, Art. 
Yes, uh, sa yes. lahat po ng mga kasama na namin sa uh, YouTube, sa ating po mga viewers, uh, ini-invite po namin kayo na patuloy po na sumuporta sa Digipil Tech Nation. Uh, samahan niyo po kami sa aming advocacy, <coughs> sa mga nakasama na po namin dati pa uh, from first up to 36 webinar. Ngayon, we have our 37th webinar. Magandang gabi po, Sir Romel Rosita. Ayan, so the, per, the early bird from San Luis, Batangas. So masaya po kami na makasama kayo muli. Uh, good, up, uh, good evening also to uh, Sir Dennis Sergio Sarso. Then to Sir Manny Garcia. Magandang gabi po. Ang soki natin, Sir Art. Very solid na ano natin, uh, tagapagsubaybay. Yes, of course. Ang uh, <laughs> solid supporter po ng, uh, ng Digital Tech Nation from Thailand. Uh, good evening, Sir Ruben de los Santos. Yes, Sir. So si Sir Ruben ay isa pong uh, Filipino educator na nagtuturo pa ngayon sa Thailand. Okay, acknowledge ko lang lang, Sir. Uh, from Cebu City also. Ma'am Leo Selbillantes, present po si Ma'am. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, isa din po nating solid supporter, uh, Ma'am Leo Sel, si Positive <coughs> Division, Pardo National High School. And also, uh, good evening po sa lahat. 37th webinar. Yes. Apo. Okay. Uh, sir Marvin, uh, Nayan Liamido. Good evening to Ma'am Jen Tendido. Hello po sa inyo. Hello po sa lahat ng mga viewers na natin. Uh, we are very much excited to uh, share you our 27th webinar. So this time our focus is all about uh, the friendliness of Google. Yeah, good evening to uh, the Masinas. Okay. So, Sir Bun, we're looking forward na ma-indicate naman ng mga viewers natin yung location nila for, for us to recognize. Ano, uh, alam naman natin we have our uh, uh, viewers from all over the Philippines, ano, from uh, Visayas area, Mindanao, from NCR, uh, from Batangas. Hello, ala eh, sa mga taga Batangas dito. So, kami po ni Sir Norman is from Malian, Batangas. Good evening po sa inyo. Yes sir, tama po sir. Again, so, so sir, we're encouraging sir, everyone. Sir, Opo. Yes. Okay, so again, uh, we're encouraging everyone uh, to include your division, school, or company po, or province, kung saan po kayo uh, ang location nyo, uh, at least naman po uh, for recognition uh, purposes. Okay? So I think, uh, Sir Art, Sir Norman, so without uh, further ado, since very ready na po ang speaker natin, Introduce na ba natin, Sir Art, Sir Norman? Okay, Sir. Go, go, okay. go. Yes. Okay. okay. So, again, so, I'm so, so we have also. our speaker na uh, super excited then to share uh, his uh, expertise, his knowledge with yes, regards well, to uh, Google. Sir Ben, kindly, okay, sir. let's have our so, guest speaker this uh, evening. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sir Art, Sir Norman. So, ang um, guest uh, speaker po natin ay... Uh, isa pong uh, kasama kong uh, educator dito sa Cebu City Division eh, sa kanyang topic na uh, being googly, the friendliness of Google, a friendly guide to be a Google certified educator so our resource speaker uh, in our session tonight is no other than uh, Rosilo M. Dilima Rosilo M. Dilima kung saan si Sir Okay, so si Sir Dilema po ay isa pong Google Certified Educator Level 1 and Level 2, Google for Education Certified Trainer, and also accepted in the Google's Virtual Innovator Academy in the year 2021 to become a Certified Innovator someday. And also a Senior High School Teacher, ICT School Coordinator, and also accepted as one of um, aspirants sa ongoing training for Microsoft Education Ambassador or MIA. Siya po ay galing sa Mambaling uh, National High School, SDO, Cebu City. Once again, Sir Rosilo Dilima. Good evening, sir. Yeah, 
Yes. Uh, good evening, Hello. sir. Good evening, sir. Sa lahat. Welcome sir, to the Digital Technician. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Norman, magandang gabi. At sa mga nanonood natin ngayong gabi. Magandang gabi. Good evening din po, sir. Uh, we are happy to be to have you here in uh, Digital Tech. It's an honor to sir. So, si sir ay uh, isa ding uh, soon to be a mayor, uh, full-fledged mayor. Uh, pero this time, ang isi-share sa atin ni sir ay all about Google. Yeah. So, kung ready na si sir, I guess sir, when, uh, let's have the, the screen. Pwede na natin okay, so the screen is yours. Uh, sir Dilema, okay, go ahead sir. Okay sir, so I'm going to share my screen. Thank you sir. Can you see now? Can you see my screen now, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, visible uh, na po, sir. Oops. Sorry for that. Okay, so um, once again, uh, magandang gabi sa lahat, uh, especially to our dearest administrators sa Digifil uh, Tech Nation, uh, Sir Buen, Sir Art, and Sir Norman. And uh, to all our guests, and... Uh, a uh, special shout out to my friends and colleagues who are watching right now and to all the viewers so thank you for watching uh kahit uh you are going to have your dinner at this hour i think i hope it's ready and i hope some uh, others are already uh, having their dinner so uh also special shout out uh, before i begin let me shout out my our dear principal of mambaling national high school uh, dr diogenes r adaptanti and to all the teaching and non-teaching staff of uh, the school mambaling national high school i also would like to acknowledge all teachers in the south district three uh, headed by public schools district supervisor <coughs> Dr. Nestor A. Uh, Arandia and our schools are uh, under the leadership of schools division superintendent uh, Dr. Riamar A. Angte. So I am Rosello M. De Lima once again, your guest speaker for tonight. And uh, you can call me Rosso, but that's my uh, Facebook name. But others prefer to call me Rose. I guess it's because every time uh, they, they look at a rose, they can remember me. That's why they prefer to call me Rose. But I think I'm a thorn, so kidding aside. <laughs> so I'm here today to tell you that you too can become a Google certified um, educator. Yes, you can be a Google certified educator. So um, I'm going to start. Let me start by sharing my personal roadmap in becoming a Google Certified Educator. So as you can see here, I have a map so and uh, a trail from that uh, from this point up to uh, reaching and becoming a Google Certified uh, Educator. So this is the roadmap. So let's begin uh, our journey in becoming a uh, Google Certified Educator. So uh, I have here, no? our first stop is the blue icon. Yes, it's the blue icon with three people, which means that uh, it's a community. So I started uh, my journey in becoming GCE uh, by joining a um, community of teachers so I'm by joining a uh, community of teachers so uh, the first one here is um, the digital tech nation uh, which uh, I'm very thankful and grateful for inviting me here tonight for this event and uh, by watching this video I believe that you are now on the first step of your journey towards becoming a GCE so you are now a member i guess uh, many of us have been following uh, programs 
webinars by offered by uh, Digifil Tech Nation. Um, as you have learned, and also to those na bago pa lang nakapanood at sa webinar na ito, uh, they offer research uh, webinars about Photoshop trainings, about Google Workshop, and others. And now that you are start, uh, now that you are seeking a community that is passionate about educational technology, I can say that it is a good start. So that's where we uh, should begin in our journey. Uh, we should find a community that shares the same passion with us about educational technology. Uh, a community, uh, uh, it's a support group that can help us when we need something, when we need help about uh, the complexity of technology, if it's complex, but along the way, uh, together with our support group, together with our community, uh, we can um, learn and um, enhance uh, our newfound skill. So another uh, teacher community uh, that uh, that helped me with this uh, journey is the Kaagapay Teacher Support. So this is where I started my journey. And uh, with Digital Tech Nation, uh, I have learned so many applications about Google and becoming a, a passionate about educational technology and uh, other apps. So as you have seen, uh, they have they offer webinars about different educational technology applications that we can use and integrate in our class. And lastly, and most importantly, is the Google Educators Group. So let me introduce to you the Google Educators Group. So it helped bring local educators together in person and online to learn, share, and inspire one another. So with, um, I think uh, with Google Educators Group Philippines, uh, a lot of us have already uh, sent our membership for that uh, GEG, but there are also chapters uh, all around in the Philippines. And hopefully we can also start uh, in Cebu City for those who are watching, uh, for those who are in Cebu City. So hopefully we can start the AGEG Mambaling also. And so it's a group no, under Google and uh, it's good news for all the DepEd personnel because Google educators groups are now acknowledged by DepEd as a professional development uh, community for educators. So as you can see in this memorandum um, under the office of under Secretary for Administration, so number 09210077, so with subject recognition of Google Educators Group Philippines as a professional learning uh, community. Uh, we are very happy with this development because we are, uh, our community of teach, our community, uh, the community of teachers who are seeking for professional development, uh, who are continuously learning about Google, uh, about educational technology applications that we can use uh, are being acknowledged by our department. So uh, that's really a very good development on my part. So for those of you who are, uh, who want to find out if meron bang a GEG sa uh, inyong lugar, uh, this is the site that you can um, search. Okay, so okay, so this is the uh, website where you can search if uh, there's an current um, GEG in your area. So I will I will demonstrate to you how to find a Google Educator group near you. So uh, this here, you can see a map. So meet educators in your area who use Google tools to foster learning in schools, classrooms, and communities. So this is a the world map. And uh, let's go to the Philippines. So 
here there are 15 groups uh, acknowledged by the by Google Educator groups in the Philippines but there are chapters also uh, so as you can see there are GEG Bacolod, GEG Bulacan, Butuan, Caloocan, Iligan, Ilocos Norte, La Union, Makati, Mandaluyong, North Cotabato, Ortigas, Philippines, and Quezon, Quezon City. So, and San Juan and South Manila. So, uh, there are so many GEG that you can join. So, uh, GEGs are, you can find GEGs on Facebook too. So you can also find Gigi on Facebook. So um, that uh, I, I guess that's the first uh, part that we or you need to do so that uh, so that you can start in your journey to become a, a Google certified educator. Finding a, a support group or teachers community who are passionate about Google about uh, educational technology applications especially about google so that was our first stop no? and i hope that you are all feeling good knowing that there are communities built for teachers that are willing to help and guide you with the new technology that we now have for teaching because uh, undeniably many of us really uh, struggles especially uh, at the start of the pandemic uh, many of us struggles about how to use new technology how to integrate new technology in our classroom in our lesson so uh, knowing that there's a support group uh, there's a teachers community now it's our time it's your time to join those uh, support community but uh, since you are watching this webinar so you are already in the first um, part you have taken your first step now let us proceed to our next stop so our next stop is as you can see in the map so it's a phone with many apps but do not worry about those apps it just means that our next stop is about familiarizing ourselves with Google for education applications so to familiarize uh, you can go to Google to edu.google.com. So that is the website for Google for Education. And in the landing page, you can see that there's a Google Cloud, Google Workspace for Education, and Chromebooks. So these are the featured products, programs, and services. But okay, so these are the featured products and services. So here's the Google Cloud. So we are now in the Google for Education site, okay? And uh, these are the featured products, no? The Google Cloud, the Google Workspace for Education, and the Chromebooks. So, but this time, let us focus on the uh, Google for Education. So for Google for Education helps expand learning for everyone working to support education through Google's products, programs, and philanthropy. So uh, if you need any, if you need applications related to education, so you can go to Google for education. But uh, based on those three featured products, let us focus on the Google Workspace. So um, Google Workspace is there. Uh, it helps transform how educators and students learn to work and innovate together with free secure tools so what are the tools in google that are included in the google workspace but before that uh, for those who are deped teachers let me remind you that uh, you already have a google workspace account so uh, if you remember uh, yes if you remember that uh, most of us call that account as deped account or deped email account but that is actually uh, that there's more to it so it's a google workspace account so formally formerly it's a g suite so in that uh account uh as you have known to those na palaging gumagamit sa account na yan so pwede tayong 
mag-email through Gmail. Pwede tayong gumamit ng calendar, mag-set ng uh, dates, um, uh, mag-set, mag-set ng meetings, uh, tasks, um, announcements uh, sa Google Calendar, sa so, mga events and reminders. Pwede natin iset sa Google Calendar. Meron din tayong Google Meet kung saan pwede tayong uh, mag uh, karon or start a conference so meron ding Google Chat at uh, most importantly this application Google Drive kung saan dito natin isinisave yung mga uh, important documents natin na ginagamit natin sa uh, or teaching related activities natin so kaya pwede tayong gumawa ng um, docs. Pwede natin gamitin yung docs. Uh, pwede din gumawa ng grades or mag-save ng grades uh, sa sheets, sa Google Sheets. Uh, pwede gamitin ng slides for presentations. Uh, ito, yung, ito yung ginagamit ko ngayon, yung Google Slides. Meron ding forms yung uh, pagkukolek natin ng mga information or data from uh, during enrollment, I think uh, some of us used Google Forms during enrollment. So uh, for those na hindi pa gumamit ito, uh, pwede ito gamitin for uh, yung pagkuha ng survey. Pwede din ito gamitin uh, as an assessment tool uh, to, ha- uh, to, start, uh, to conduct um, uh, quizzes. No? Pwede natin itong gawin. Uh, pwede itong gamitin. So if you also want to make a uh, website so you can use google site so you can uh, you can actually use this as a lms or other um, uh, other purposes such as maybe uh, um, a school inter- a school website you can use this or even a uh, e natawag uh, parang yung school paper instead of the usual uh, printed school paper. So, pwede na siya doon sa uh, Google Sites gawin. And uh, there's there are many apps that you can use with your Google Workspace account. So, that's how it transforms um, our education. Okay, so again, uh, uh, in our journey, we're done with finding and joining support community and teachers community. Tapos, we already um, uh, explored and used various Google for Education apps. Now, our next st- stop is this. So, as you can see, there's a hand and a, a, a brain. So, it's a hand and a brain. So, why? So, uh, dahil tapos na tayo mag-familiarize, gumamit ng mga uh, iba't ibang mga applications sa Google. So, pwede na natin, pwede tayo mag-proceed to the next uh, level. Ano yon So, this time, uh, you have, you now, uh, you are now going to familiarize with the uh, uh, Google for Education Teacher Center. So, ano to? So, this is actually, um, it allows you to never stop learning. So, learning is continuous, no? So, by letting you explore free technology uh, training and resources for educators. So, this is the link where you can uh, go to access this free technology training and resources. So, I will, let's go to that website. Okay, so this is the uh, Google for Education Teacher Center. So, uh, how did this uh, site help me in uh, my journey towards becoming a Google Certified Educator? So, actually, after joining, after joining, after um, actively participating with different uh, webinars and trainings, so... I, I'm still looking for uh, uh, training resources that is 
directly related to uh, what Google Certified Education or Educator is. So that's, that, this is where I found uh, the Google Teacher Center. So uh, this site helped me build my confidence and with the different tools uh, and it helped me develop my skills also because there are discussions so if you are familiar with the uh, DepEd professional uh, DepEd LMS so it's uh, almost the same so it's the same but here it's uh, specific to Google, uh, to Google for to Google tools so you can find training courses here and okay so this is the training resources so okay so this is the google for education teacher center then um, there are tips for google products the certification and professional development programs so i will walk you through this site so Let's click begin training courses. Empowering educators and supporting lifelong learning with free online training for the classroom. So there's a, uh, there are two uh, professional uh, courses. There are two courses that are suggested, no? So the first one is for new learners and for advanced learners. So. For the new learners, so learn the basics of Google Workspace for Education. So it's 13 units and you can take it for 15, about 15 hours. So for advanced learners, so these are for those who wants to go further with advanced training about Google Workspace for Education. So this is the fundament, uh, this, uh, this training for new learners is actually about Okay, let's go to this site. It's about uh, fundamentals training. So this is uh, fundamentals training. So you are going to learn about the fundamentals of Google Workspace. So there are unit. There are thirteen units. So I started this uh, step by step. Uh, I really observed each lesson and uh, took the unit uh, unit review every after learning each unit. So that um, will assess what I have learned about this unit. Okay, so that we you uh, we also have the unit two expand your access to help and learning, and uh, unit three also have a mostly paperless classroom so there are 13 units uh, to learn about fundamentals training about Google workspace for education okay so how about the uh, this course for advanced learners so, okay so let's go to this uh, course So this is for advanced learners. So these are, this course is for those who are already familiar uh, and very adept in using uh, Google Workspace tools already. So they can um, go or they can learn directly uh, this course. They can skip uh, the fundamental training and just go directly with the advanced training so there are uh, 11 units to finish so if you can finish with these uh, if you can finish these uh, courses uh, I can assure you just like me so I gain uh, confidence about uh, my uh, about my skill about what I have learned about Google Workspace so because of these courses, so uh, I was really uh, excited to take the examination. So these are the courses that prepared me uh, for the uh, Google Certified Educator examination. Okay, so uh, since 
we you are now uh, because of the, that uh, tri- uh, because of that course because of those uh, courses. I mean, uh, I'm sure that this uh, those will boost your confidence in taking the examination. So since we're done with uh, with our with this uh, stop, so let's proceed to our uh, next stop. So the uh, Google examination. So this is the uh, this is where the battle begins in becoming a Google for a certified educator. So there are two certifications now. So these are so, okay. So these are the two certifications. The educator level one and the educator level two. So, uh, in GCE level one certification, so that is valid for three years. And um, if you're going to take this exam, so this will take you about uh, 180 minutes, or there's a time limit which is three hours. So, that will co- cost you $10. So, here, uh, you're going to demonstrate your mastery of Google tools in your classroom with an educator level one certification. So completing the certification will earn you a badge that will help you stand out on your resume and portfolio website and more. And um, most importantly, so this will give you a boost and confidence in using Google Workspace tools. So how about educator level two? So take the next step with the educator level two certification. So the same with a level one certification, it's valid for three years, but it will cost you $25. So that is um, more expensive than the GCE L1 examination. But the same with the GCE L1, so the runtime is 180 minutes or three hours. Okay, so you need to finish the examination. Uh, before uh, the time. So, so it, this will validate your expertise and advanced technology integration skills with the Educator Level 2 certification. Okay, so these are the two certifications uh, that um, for uh, in becoming a Google Certified uh, Educator. So if you are, if you will um, pass the examination, so that's going to be a success. So th- um, you're going to be, you're going to receive your uh, badge and recognition as a Google certified educator. So it's either level one or level two. So uh, here um, you can choose which exam you're going to take. So if you think you need to learn the basics, the fundamentals, and you are just starting uh learning about Google for Education, you can start with uh, GCE L1. And after uh, after that, after some practice, so after those steps that I have presented, so after finishing those steps that I have presented, you can again um, take the GCE L2. So it's okay, So, but it is not a prerequisite. GCE L1 is not a prerequisite in becoming a GCE L2. You can um, skip L1 and go L2, but uh, uh, there's always an advantage that uh, it's okay if you're already an advanced uh, user of Google Workspace. Okay, so uh, with with that, I guess so. That's the the that's the whole. Uh, jo- that's the whole journey of my, uh, of me, of my uh, GCE. So I started with uh, Google. I started with uh, uh, teachers community and uh, engaging with the different webinars offered by Digifield Tech Nation and Gagapay uh, Teacher Support and also following GEG Philippines, uh, GEG groups on Facebook and watching the watching their webinars and attending uh, events they held online. So I, uh, because of that, I learned about uh, Google Certified 
educator program. Um, that, uh, but I did not take the examination directly because I thought that I really thought that it's going. It's really, really difficult. Like, uh, really difficult. I cannot pass the exam. So that I, uh, I'm sorry for that. But I, uh, yes, I thought that it was really difficult. But then uh, in my journey, uh, I never stopped. I think that's that is what uh, yun yung importante no na hindi tayo tumitigil. Uh, kaya ang ginawa ko. Uh, dahil parang gusto ko yun ah. parang pa, sabi ko sa sarili ko um, gusto ko yung ma, gusto ko yung maabot yung ganun ano kaya doon <laughs> ano kaya ang um, anong klasing uh, bak, uh, anong eh, anong meron kapag meron kang badge na ganyan uh, anong meron pag nakapasa ako sa GCEL1 yun yung mentality ko at the beginning because i was just an average uh, Google workspace user so um, i used Gmail, yun lang. Tapos as an educator, I I came across with uh, Google Drive, I mean Google Drive applications such as Docs, Sheets, and uh, uh, PowerPoint. So I used it um, for my uh, class because uh, what I like, or what I love about it is that it's online. So when I edit, uh, when I edit. Uh, my documents through Google Drive, um, it will just automatically save. So it's really e- easy. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to be reminded that dapat ko siyang is save because it's already saved online. And if I go home, I will just open directly the uh, the site, the Google Drive, and open the document, the Google Docs, or Sheets, or uh, or slides and I can continue editing I can continue uh, uh, doing uh, my unfinished uh, tasks uh, that is where I begin using Google for education uh, tools but um, because of uh, but after following on Facebook, the GEG groups, the Digifield Tech Nation, the KTS, and other webinars uh, by DepEd EdTech unit. So I started to dream. <laughs> I started to dream big, yes. So I started, what if? I started with a what if. Ano kaya kapag susubukan ko? Ano kayang meron dun? Ano kayang uh, makukuha ko dun? Ano kayang... Uh, malalearn kung na bago dun. So, um, I, uh, after, after joining the communities and support group, I um, practiced these tools because uh, yung mga support group at communities, meron din sila mga websites na parang LMS na nakasave yung mga uh, mga steps in becoming a Google Certified Educator. So we, because of that, uh, those websites were made through using Google Sites. So they are really integrating the different Google uh, for Education tools. Ginamit talaga nila yung Google Apps, the Google for Education Workspace applications. At ayun, pinuntahan ko yung mga Google Sites na yun. At uh, sinubukan, ko, sinubukan ko yung mga steps. I read the steps. I and I, I watch the videos kasi minsan hindi ako nakaka-attend ng mga webinars kasi nga uh, at work tayo. So I have to uh, double time at night. At sometimes pag uh, kasi uh, nas, uh, I have to travel 2 hours before uh, going to work and going home. So while nasa bus ako, uh, nanonood ako ng mga webinar nag uh, take ako ng mga exam yun yung ginagawa ko kasi kaya nagiging parang nagiging habit ko siya kaya nagiging mas familiar familiar ako sa mga different uh, applications so at nag-i-explore talaga ako kung anong meron like when it, well, like about Google for education applications or Google for uh, for education workspace anong meron dito uh, anong pwede kong gag- gawin dito paano kaya to gagamitin yun yung ginagawa ginagawa ko Pagkatapos nun, uh, uh, 
sabi uh, we were ano we were in- encouraged to take the GCE pero parang ano pa rin eh parang I was still skeptical kaya yung ginawa ko is I still try to look for different uh, uh resources na that can help me gain, boost my confidence so uh, yes uh that's that's where I found out about Google for Education Teacher Center which is actually nasa Google pa din naman siya so the Google for Education Teacher Center uh yun yung ano kaya ang meron dito o para tong para siyang ano para siyang um, LMS para siyang may lesson siya na nasa online lang so I can learn at my own pace ganun so sometimes I will just read uh those ano those uh information uh, binabasa ko lang siya tapos may mga part na you need to practice so pina-practice ko siya hanggang uh, na tapos ako that's tapos I need to do the unit review. Minsan ah uh, talagang ano hindi naman hindi siya you know kasi um minsan talaga y- yung yung score hindi talaga yung parang you're not satisfied pa doon. Kaya parang may kulang sa nako nagkamali. So nagre-review ako, nire-review ko siya. Tapos um uh, hanggang parang satisfied na ako with the scores also. So, parang na-assess ko yung sarili ko. Parang, parang bang self-check if uh, tama na ba, handa na ba ako about this topic. So, uh, yes, I proceed to the next unit dun sa, uh, dun sa course sa fundamentals training sa teacher center. Tapos, after that, uh, yun, yun pa din yung ginagawa ko. Pinabasa ko yun. Uh, each chapter, each unit. Tapos, take the unit review. Uh, test or exam tapos pag nakapasa meron din kang meron ka ding makukuha na ano na uh, certificate pag matapos mo yung uh, dalawang courses sa uh, teacher center sa skill shop so ayun uh, na parang nagiging habit ko siya tapos na, na natutuwa ako kapag kapag ano tama yung mga answers ko tapos nakakapag-proceed so yun hanggang sinubukan ko din yung Uh, sa totoo lang, sinubukan ko din yung advanced level kahit hindi pa ako, wala pa akong, hindi pa ako nakapag-take ng GCE L1. So, sinubukan ko lang if kaya ko, if anong meron dito. Tapos, talagang mahirap din siya. Dahil, uh, as an average user, na ano ako, na nahirapan ako. Pero with those, if, pag, uh, fin- pag, if you're going to follow lang yung mga steps, uh, kaya naman. Kaya naman pala. At lalo na kapag pinapractice mo talaga siya. Ginagamit mo talaga siya sa school. Ginagamit mo talaga siya sa lesson. Ginagamit mo talaga siya sa yung um, sa work mo, sa araw-araw na gawain natin sa ating work. So, if we always practice, especially the Gmail, the the, the Gmail, the uh, Google Docs, the Google Drive, Google, Spread, uh, Google Sheet, Google Slides, uh, and Google Meet and Google Calendar so it it's it becomes friendly no uh, uh, that's what i like also about these tools because it's really user friendly so it's easy to learn so at first um, you might get overwhelmed because there are too many there are so many applications na pwede mong gamitin tapos matanong mo sa, yung sarili mo Anong, anong tool yung gagamitin ko? So, but one at a time. So, just use the tool that is best suited for the task na ginagawa mo. Tapos, like for example, if we need to uh, create uh, slides or presentations uh, and we uh, gagamitin natin yung ano, Google Slides. So, at palagi natin ginagamit yung Google Slides. So, malalaman natin yung iba't ibang features within the Google Slides. At malalaman din natin yung uh, ano yung pinagkaiba niya sa ibang application na available naman na pwede natin gamitin. Makikita din natin kung ano yung mga advantages at, at disadvantages. And one of the uh, very good friendly uh, thing about 
Google uh, applications that I na 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 I think yun yung nagustuhan ko is the real time collaboration yun talaga yung isa sa mga pinaka na nagustuhan ko yun yung sabi ko yung uh, you can work online uh, and uh, save it automatically and access it in another computer or in another device in, in another place and still uh, yun yung yung ginawa mong uh, project or ginawa mong slide is andun na siya so you don't uh, hindi ka na mahirapan uh, how to access yun kaya because lagi ko siyang ginagamit uh, palagi ko siyang pina-practice tapos nagfi-familiarize pa ako dun sa teacher center so i i took the exam uh, with uh, with confidence hindi talaga yung 100% confident wala naman siguro ng ganun sa sana all kung meron man that may may konting ka ba of course may ba ano kaya yung lalabas na exam yung ganun uh, anong klasing exam yung lalabas yung uh, kaya ko kaya yung parang skeptical ka tapos hesitant ka if if, if, if parang ano na tawag doon um uh imposter syndrome parang ganun <laughs> tapos i think uh the best thing is to do is now prayers importante talaga yon tapos uh believe in yourself then na if you practice it if you use it if you study about it then probably there's a higher percentage that you are uh, ready to take the exam head on yung ganun kaya kinonvince ko yung sarili ko tapos Uh, yun, voila. <laughs> Luckily, I I passed with a GCE level level one. Tapos after dun, uh, nagiging uh, after dun is um, we had another. Uh, we were offered for uh, an, a training in preparation for GCE level two, and I was very grateful uh, because of it. Uh, kasi nga sina de ba sabi don GCEL2 tapos advanced level parang wow advanced yung ano yung when we say advanced parang yung level of difficulty is talagang napakahirap yun yung perception natin agad but with the preparation that we had with the uh, uh, teachers community with the teachers support group with the reviews with the training with the webinars so yun and uh, it parang uh, hindi na siya ganun ka uh, parang may ano ka na may confidence may confidence ka na, na siguro kaya ko naman kaya why not bakit di ko susubukan if if i already learned this naman so meron namang training so pwede ko naman siguro subukan kaya yun sinubukan ko uh, at luckily i past again so i think uh, that's uh, what i can share to you about the about the friendliness of uh, google for uh, google for education workspace tools and i think uh, what actually is being googly i think this is one of the most difficult word i came across last year because i started my journey about GCE level 1 last year man and i and in one of my application meron yung word na googly parang i para talaga akong na ano ano ba ano ba yung googly parang giggles yun yung first na naisip ko na uh, synonym giggles at ayan kasi googly or maybe yung yung uh, tawag din parang nakakatuwa yung ganun googly so yes uh I think we are free to interpret what googly is because it's really a fun word I think but when I came across with the application I learned that googly actually means yung parang ano tawag yung parang greet or parang yung what makes uh, what makes it different what makes it different and uh yung yung nangingibabaw uh, yes parang yung parang unique what makes it unique and different yun, yun yun. 
uh, yun yung being googly. But I, I love the word. It's a fun word, I, I think. So, and uh, those are the, uh, yes, so that's the roadmap of my Google uh, Certified Educator journey. And I'm sure that you all, uh, you can also become a Google Certified Educator. You can, you already have started your journey uh, here uh, by attending this webinar and um, uh, we, and also many of you have been using the tools. So maybe I can suggest uh, try to visit the Google for Education Teacher Center and practice the exam there. And um, if you have time and if you are really ready, uh, you can take the exam. And also um, there are people uh, who are willing and ready to help, uh, such as me, and also with your Google Educators group. So you can approach and find a mentor in your journey in becoming a Google Certified Educator. So, yes. So, uh, okay. So before I end, uh, I want to say that uh, in advance that congratulations and uh, I want to leave this quote from Peter Drucker. So uh, Sir Peter Drucker is one of the prominent um, writer, author about management. So he said that the only skill that will be important in the 21st century is the skill of learning new skills. Everything else will become obsolete over time. So you know, we need to, the, the, the only skill that will be important in the 21st century is the skill of learning new skills. So we really have to upskill and relearn because it's going to be the most important. It is the most important in this century. So that's all and magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Okay, sir. Uh, maraming salamat sa napaka-detail po na pag ng ating mga viewers. Uh, saan po ang tamang direction with regards to uh, aiming to become one of the Google Certified Educator? So, papasokin ko aking mga co-admins, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so, si Sir Norman, Sir Art. So, una, tanongin ko siguro si Sir Art. Sir Art, uh, para sa'yo, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng being googly? Kung ikaw ang tatanungin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> para na sa IGP tayo niya na. Okay, so yan. So, sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin, so, Sir uh, uh, Rosso na lang po na. So, Rosso, thank you very much po sa uh, na-share po ninyo sa amin. So, actually, uh, marami sa iguro sa mga viewers and even all educators na nakatulad ko na normal ko paggamit ng mga Google applications. And uh, ako, kumbaga, sa marami na ako na-join na samahan ng community like Wakelet Ambassador na Kalingkot and uh, papasok na sa Maya. So kung baga, pagdating sa Google, sinasabi ko na may skills ako, may knowledge ako, ano. Pero dahil hindi pa ako certified, so kung baga, parang kulorin ako sa Google. Kung baga, yung knowledge ko, natutunan ko by, by doing, kung baga, sa mga kasama lang, siya yung mga kasama. Pero uh, kung baga, dapat nga, mas tama na pag kasi nag- uh, naging level 1, Google Certified Level 1 tayo, at it is understood, may dinaanan tayong courses, may dinaanan tayong uh, kumbaga ay series of, uh, of uh, training na talagang understood pag nakapasa tayo dun sa level 1. Qualified tayo na mag, mag talk all about Google, tapos hindi tayo kalorong kumbaga sa mga driver. Ay, professional driver to, hindi basta driver lang na iwas sa police pag may huli, gano'n. So, yun yung nakikita ko na ano. So, as teacher, alas challenge yung mga sarili natin na maging mga license tayo when it comes to Google. Kung baga ay dapat ay certified tayo ng Google since login na naman natin ginagamit si Google. And uh, for sure, 100%, pag nag-go tayo sa mga trainings all about Google, understood, ang dami pa natin matutukunan na hindi pa natin alam. Yung akala natin, ay, simple lang si si Google Forms, simple lang si uh, Google Slide, parang pareho lang yun ang PowerPoint, parang pareho lang yun ang Excel. Pero as we go on with trainings, 
may madidiscover tayo definitely at uh, uh, may skills na madidevelop pa sa atin kaya I am challenging lahat po ng mga educators dyan na kung talagang skilled kayo sa Google then go with the exam uh, so pasal. thank you very much sir also for for uh, stating na kami po sa digital technician ay isa sa mga community na willing tumulong sa mga educators na So, Sir Bren, okay na ba yung sagot ko? Pasado ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, pasadong pasado po, sir. Ano kaya ang masasabi ni Sir Norman sa tanong na yun? Pagiging Google. Sir Norman? So, uh, Google or Googleness. Uh, ano ba yun? <laughs> Hindi. Google, uh, ibig sabihin, uh, you are thinking about uh, something and doing something for others. Yan po ang, ang uh, according to Google. <laughs> yan po. Uh, yan po talaga ang ano ng Google. Kagaya po ng ginagawa natin. Kagaya din ang uh, ginagawa ni Google. Uh, nagpo-provide sila ng new skills. Nagbibigay sila ng training. Uh, Nagsa-certified sila ng mga uh, mga tao for, for new skills. Po. So, uh, for me, that is what we call uh, googly or googliness. Uh, tama rin po ang sabi ni Sir Dilima. Uh, ano po? Uh, uh, ibig sabihin, i- <clears throat> we have to... Uh, tawag doon? Yung... yung nawala ako. Ah, uh, kailangan po nating mag mag ano, mag uh, upgrade. Ano po? Kasi para sa akin sa buhay po, no. Kung ikay mananatili dun sa skills na meron ka. At mapapag-iwanan ka. So you have to strive to to upgrade your uh, skills, to upgrade yourself and of course, yung yung ating mga yung mga natutunan natin ng mga previous years. Sometimes uh, nagiging ano na yan, nagiging obsolete na lalo na uh, in terms of computer. Na po. So kinakailangan maging uh, yakapin natin yung tinatawag nating Googleness or yung tinatawag nating Google. Ano po? Ayun. And yes, then of sir. course, we have we have to ano, we have to share it uh, to other people, to other to to other educators para naman makatulong tayo. Ayun. So that is our advocacy. Yeah, magandang uh, gabi po. Yes, sir. And uh, to all our viewers and to my uh, speaker uh, decision and to my co-admins, so may introduce to you uh, a very, ano, siguro masasabi natin uh, will verse uh, when it comes to Google siguro. Kasi ang papasukin natin ngayon ay isang uh, education-led ng Google Philippines. Ay walang iba po kundi ang napakahusay at napakabait na si Miss Mary Manzano. Uh, good evening po, uh, Miss Mary. Hi, everyone. Magandang gabi po. Uh, magandang gabi po, ma'am. Magandang gabi sa lahat. Uh, thank you guys for being here. And I'm really happy that, you know, I was listening to the tail end of uh, Rosalie's uh, presentation. And I can I can really resonate with a lot of the points that he made. Ngayon, uh, gusto ko rin sagutin yung being googly, ano? Uh, para sa mga taong nandito. Kasi nasa Google ako ngayon, so I think masasagot ko yan, yung pagiging googly na yan. Isa, being googly kasi, kung baga kung titingnan mo, adjective yan, ano, that would describe anybody that contains those uh, kung ano mang aspeto ng googliness na hinahanap ng, mga, ng Google. So, for a lot of people inside Google, you know, we have it because... Uh, that's one of the things that they look for whenever they want to find somebody who wants to work inside uh, Google. And uh, correct ko lang po sa lahat ng people. So I'm the education lead uh, for Google for Education. Um, and uh, naka-detail ako, kumbaga nasa Philippines ako, yun ang hawak kong, um, yun ang hawak kong uh, territory, kumbaga. Pero uh, I do report to Google for Education and not PH. Now, um, being googly doesn't just mean like somebody who can use Google technology. No? Hindi ibig sabihin na marunong kang gumamit ng Google technology, googly ka na. Yun. 
uh, ano ko lang, Google user, di ba, kapag gumagamit ng Google technology. Pero yung pagiging Google kasi, it goes beyond that. It has, kung alam nyo po yung um, tinatawag nating fail fast, yun yung uh, kapag meron tayong problema and we're trying to solve that problem, we try to solve that problem by creating a solution and we try to implement that solution as early as possible, as fast as possible, so that we can fail fast. So, ibig sabihin, no, fail fast, para makita natin agad kung ano hindi nag-work. Kasi kapag ginamit mo na siya agad, at saka tinesting mo na siya agad, hindi ka natakot, kumbaga, nag-testing ka agad, and then nakita mo kung ano yung nag-work, ano yung hindi nag-work, pwede mong i-improve yun sa susunod na iteration. And then for every iteration, no, yung tinatawag natin yung susunod na na round ng solution mo, sa susunod na round ng solution mo, meron ka na namang makikita ang fail dyan. So, fail fast, ibig sabihin, fail fast and then fail forward. So, kahit na may nag-fail, dire-diretso rin ang pag-improve. And that's a really good thing because um, that means that you have the spirit of innovation and that's really what um, Google is almost always on the lookout for. Um, yung hindi takot mag-innovate kasi innovation does not happen Pag hindi kayo nag-try, if you're just doing the same thing over and over, wala kayong matututunan bago. Sabi nga ni, ano, ni Peter Drucker, di ba? The most important skill is learning new skills. And you will never learn new skills if you don't step beyond what you already know. So right now, kung ano yung nalalaman nyo ngayon, lagi tayo may bagong natututunan. Believe me, I used to be, uh, I used to be stuck in one technology before and uh, Google just opened up a whole world of different technology for me to experiment on. One of the things that I really love about Google technology is that it's very open. You know? it's, it's open. At the moment, para po sa mga nanonood na taga DepEd, anong meron? Meron kayong isang DepEd account na libre. Alam mo yun, hindi binabayaran ng DepEd ito. Libre ito sa DepEd. Um, and it will actually allow you to do Almost everything that you need to do, honestly, wala ka na halos uh, gagamitin iba. Ang kailangan mo lang talagang gawin is gamitin siya. And uh, many, many teachers will say, ay, pero sanay ako dito sa aking ano eh, ibang uh, sanay ako. For example, sanay ako, sa, sanay ako sa PowerPoint, ayoko ng slides. Kasi ano, parang iba. Ayan, so ayaw mong itry kahit na mukhang pareho, pero, pero parang hindi. Baka pag tinry ko yan eh, magkamali ako. So, don't be afraid to fail. Yun lang ang sa akin, to fail fast so that you can learn more. Kasi hindi talaga, yun ang googliness. Googliness is being able to explore beyond what you know, taking a problem and looking at the solution and be, not being afraid to try different types of solutions. Kahit anong solution yan, itry nyo yan. Basta mag-work yan, yun ang itry nyo. And we really feel na, Google itself has produced products that are the result of these failures. Kumbaga, magpaproduce kami ng product, napapansin nyo naman, di ba, minsan simple lang siya. And then magre-reklamo yung mga ibang users, sasabihin nila, ano ba naman to? Walang ganito. And then magfe-feedback yung mga users, di ba? So for all of those watching right now, meron kayong question mark icon. Lagi kayong may uh, help and feedback sa lahat ng Google tools na ginagamit nyo ngayon. Docs, Sheets, Slides, Jamboard, Google Drive, Gmail. Lahat yan, merong ability to provide feedback. So pag meron kayong feeling nyo, nakukulangan kayo, parang ano ba, paano ba ito gawin, bakit kulang? Just provide the feedback. Kung ginagamit yung Google Classroom, feeling nyo, sana may ability yung Classroom para mag- yung, and then blank, kung ano man yung gusto nyong uh, ilagay, just don't forget to provide that feedback. Bakit? Hinihingi ko yung feedback nyo kasi if there's one thing that puts Google above every single product that I know in the market right now, every single product that I know na, na malaki, di ba, na ginagamit nyo ngayon, is its ability to improve. Medyo unstoppable ang ability to improve ni Google kasi nakikinig kami sa feedback. So, kailangan mag-feedback kayo. Anong pakikinggan namin pag hindi kayo mag-feedback, di ba? So, pag nag-feedback kayo at nagsulat kayo doon ng mga sana ito yung pwedeng i-improve, we listen, 
and Google will improve the product accordingly. So for those people who have been using Google Classroom for a long time, I have been using Google Classroom since 2014 when it first launched. It's a very young product. Napakabatang product nito. It's a seven-year-old product. And for other LMSs in the market, makita nyo 20 years old na yung mga iba, di ba? We're very young compared to some of those um, learning tools, di ba? So for those uh, people who are using Google Classroom, ng way back, yung itsura ng Google Classroom ng 2014 at yung itsura ng Google Classroom ngayon, ang layo-layo na niya. And it's all because of teacher's feedback. That's why I really encourage you to do that. Now, on the Google certification, bakit kailangan natin magpa-certify? Hindi siya, hindi naman siya required, di ba? Hindi naman siya requirement to be certified. But you know what? One of the things I learned is that you learn while you're taking the exam. Hindi ka lang tinatesting, pero natututo ka habang nagre-review ka. Natututo ka ng mga bagong skills habang nag exam ka. Actually, even the exam itself teaches you something. Kahit nga magkamali kayo ng sagot eh, may matututunan kayo dun sa pag-iisip nyo lang na paano ba yun gawin? Ano ba tong tanong na to? ba? Hindi ko to ma-figure out. And guys, open book yung exam ng Google. So alam nyo yun, pag hindi nyo talaga ma- magets, de ba? Meron naman kayong other uh, tab na pwedeng buksan. I-Google niyo lang, de ba? Para malaman niyo yung sagot and pwede niyo hindi niyo wag niyo i-Google yung sagot. I-Google niyo yung paraan. Kumbaga, i-Google niyo yung help. Pa, buksan niyo yung teacher center, most likely nandoon 'yon. So I would really encourage you to try and do it. I know sometimes it may maybe too much. Sa dami ng workload natin ngayon, um, a lot of the workloads that you have talagang minsan daunting, no? dami ng papers na kailangan sagutan. Pero tandaan nyo lang to, uh, meron kami i-announce next week and uh, gusto ko na nga i-announce ngayon, nagigigil na ako i-announce. And I think medyo live na siya sa mga ibang, um, actually pwede ko na i-announce pala kasi live na siya at in-announce na pala namin. Okay, sige at, po, go ahead po ma'am. Oo, nakita ko kasi kahapon na uh, mukhang yung, uh, yung ano niya, yung early rollout niya, maka nangyayari na kasi I checked my education account at nandun na. And this is uh, classroom offline. Alam ko, in-announce na namin to, pero sinabi namin, i-roll out sa fourth quarter pa. And alam ko, ni-roll out na namin ngayon. So if you don't have it yet, maybe you can check it, update your uh, classroom app. It's only available on Android right now. So kung naka-iOS kayo, sorry po, hintay-hintay po ng konti kasi ni-roll out mo na namin sa Android. So, yung mga naka-Android phones, ibig sabihin nito, from their phone, pwede nilang, uh, pwedeng classroom offline. So, that means yung mga resources, mga assignment, um, pwede pa rin nilang gawin even if they're offline, walang internet. Kailangan, kailangan na nila ng internet to submit. Kasi syempre, submission na po yun, i-upload na yung mga stuff online. ba? Pag submission na, kailangan nyo talaga na internet. Pero at least, hindi nyo kailangan ng internet all throughout na ginagamit nyo ang Google Classroom. So for Android po. So that means um, medyo makakatulong ito kasi alam nyo naman, number one, mahal po ang internet ngayon. Number two, hindi naman lahat nakaka-afford. Hindi rin lahat um, mapaka-advanced ng device, ba? So very, very helpful po ito. And uh, we hope to roll this out as well in one day sa iOS and of course sa uh, web. Alam niyo naman si Google, kung wala pa yan dyan, one day nandiyan na yan. <laughs> yun ang lagi kong sinasabi. Kung, kung wala pa yan ngayon, hintay lang kayo, hold your horses. Because um, isa ako sa mga number one reklamador ng Google for the last 11 years that I've been using Google Tools. 11 years ko nang ginagamit. I've been a uh, Chromebook user since 2012. So yung mga tao po na hindi nakaka- Alam, ano ba yung Chromebook? Chromebook is a laptop that actually runs on Google OS or operating system niya is not Windows or Linux or Mac. No? Iba ang OS niya. Ang OS niya is a um, Chrome OS. Yun po ang uh, operating system niya. It's a very simple type of operating system. It allows you to manage all of your devices sa skwelahan. And at the moment, ito po yung isa sa mga discussions namin sa mga LGU right now. So kung meron pong nakikinig dito na nasa SDO, uh, kausapin niyo po ako, I can post my um, email address here sa chat. Siguro, Sir um, 
ilagay nyo na lang po yung aking email address. For those people who would like to contact me, who are interested in Chromebooks, dahil hindi pa po ito widely available sa Pilipinas, but definitely we are um, working hard to be available in the education system. Um, the reason why we want to make it available is because, um, Sir Benavides, pwede po bang mag-mail? May naririnig lang akong konti na. Ayan. There. Okay pa. There. So, ang gusto ko lang pong malaman nyo is uh, yung Chromebooks po kasi, it's now widely available in Japan. Uh, Japan Ministry of Education is using it all throughout their country. Indonesia is doing the same. Dati kasi puro US lang yung gumagamit ng Chromebook. Eh. So, ang sinasabi ko before is, uh, ano ba yan? Puro states naman. Hindi naman yan applicable dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Pero nung nakita ko na Japan started using it, and then Indonesia is also using Chromebooks for their public schools. Ha? Ang sinasabi ko dito, public school. Malaysia is on Chromebooks, mga public schools. Singapore, uh, and now Taiwan is following suit. Sabi ko, kailang kaya yung Pilipinas magka-Chromebook? Kasi uh, using a Chromebook is like the simplest, best experience for me so far. And that's the reason why I really don't want to go back to any other type of machine. Alam mo yun, kahit nga, sabi nga nila, ba't hindi daw ako mag-Mac? Kasi, alam mo yun, maganda nga naman yung brand para. Ang sinasabi ko lagi is, uh, masyado na akong spoiled sa Chromebook. I'm a very spoiled person sa Chromebook. Number one, nine hours yung battery life. Hindi ako nagdadala ng charger pag lumalabas ako. Hindi siya umiinit, tunay na laptop siya. Dati kapag nagla-laptop ako at nilagay ko sa lap, nasusunugan ako ng skin. Kasi mainit yung laptop. Uh, you know, Chromebooks don't really get hot. Minsan, mas mainit pa yung phone ko kaysa dun sa laptop ko. The other thing is, walang virus. So, parang hindi mo kailangan mag-install ng antivirus. Talagang hindi siya nababirus, no? Uh, pag meron kang USB, alam niya naman tayo, minsan may mga USB tayo na na-virus, di ba? Pag may USB tayo na may virus, pag if you stick that in a Chromebook, what will happen is it will see it. It will actually even see the virus file. No, it will see. It will see the file. It will not execute it. That's the good thing about it. Hindi niya i-execute. Ano naman kung nandyan yung file, no? Hindi niya yun papansinin. Parang okay lang. Walang, hindi mo ma-execute yung file. Which is a great thing. Kasi it means that, um, ano kayo, hardened kayo against malware. Hindi kayo ma maatake ng, ng malware, no? Kapag naka-Chromebook kayo. Kasi, Umpisa pa lang, uh, binabattle na ni Google yon And alam nyo naman, Google is very, very good at battling spam. If you have any Gmail account, napansin nyo walang masyadong spam yung account nyo kasi isa yun sa mga magaling si Google doon. That's why I think uh, one day, uh, Chromebooks, uh, yan ang dream ko. One day, magkaroon ng maraming Chromebooks sa Pilipinas kasi it is a very, very good um, laptop that can be used by students. It's also very inexpensive. Super fast. Pagbukas mo ng Chromebook mo, bukas na siya. And I have Chromebooks at home that are five years old. Alam mo yun na pagbukas ko, bukas pa rin. It's still, it's still fast. Alam mo yun, it starts fast, it stays fast. So parang for me, sobrang laking bagay nun na after five years, my Chromebook is still super fast. And I cannot say the same for any other computer I have at home. Um... Ito nga yung aking favorite Chromebook ngayon. Ito yung dinad, binibitbit ko sa mall. Binibitbit ko pa na go grocery ako just in case na may mag-email. Alam mo yun, it's a, this is called a Lenovo Chromebook Duet. So, ayan, Lenovo, pasalamatan nyo ako at uh, pinapromote ko kayo. It's a Chromebook Duet. This is, a, this is actually a Chromebook tablet. So, removable yung back, magnetic, and then you get, you get a tablet as well. So, it becomes a tablet. I like the form factor, pero personally, ang workhorse ko talaga is a, you know, a real bigger laptop. Pero ito yung pang dinadala ko pag nasa labas ako. Kasi magaan. So, yun yung mga, tingnan yung maigi um, if you guys are interested because we're working hard right now to ensure that the LGUs are aware. I know that the LGUs that are supporting your respective schools have been buying devices for your schools as well. And sometimes they just buy tablets, no? And sometimes these tablets break down after a few months. And we really don't want that. We want to encourage our LGUs to start buying devices that are inexpensive but good quality. 
na magagamit ng ilang taon. Alam mo yon At mamamanage maigi ng school. Kasi manage ng Chromebooks natin. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi ng school, bawal tong site na to, sa ganitong grade level, bawal siya. Pag sinabi ng school na pag grade 3 ka, ito ang mga apps mo, ganun ang mangyayari. Pag bukas ng account, mag-login lang using DepEd account yung bata, ayun, okay na. So, abangan po natin dahil um, that's one, that's one of the things we're working on right now. The second one is that we are finally going to be releasing very soon the student accounts, in DepEd accounts, no, ng mga bata. And so, kung uh, nire-release na natin yun, ibig sabihin may DepEd account na magagamit yung bata, managed yun. So, the kabit-kabit yan, it's all integrated. It's gonna be an easier experience for you guys. So, sa akin lang, um, don't be afraid of the certification. The certification is going to teach you something. And don't be afraid to fail. Kahit hindi kayo pumasa, try nyo lang ulit. Try and try, ba? Diba? Sabi nga nila. Just, ano, fail fast. Kung sakasakaling hindi kayo pumasa, review kayo ulit. Ano ba yung mga stuff na hindi ko natutunan? And then, anong gawin nyo? I-practice nyo nang i-practice. Kasi the best practice for the Google certification is using the tools. Napansin ko na sometimes kahit na hindi ka nga mag-review kung talagang ginagamit mo yung tools sa classroom, papasa at papasa ka. Yun ang napansin ko. Kaya um, galingan nyo lang po, gamitin yung maigi. You've got in your DepEd accounts or in your school accounts, if you're in the private school system, you have about 60 applications inside Google. Yung inyong Google Workspace, no? Most likely, sampo ang ginagamit nyo dyan. Your Google Mail, di ba? Your Drive, your Doc, Sheet, Slides, possibly Jamboard, most likely Google Meet, and Google Classroom. Yun ang pinaka, or Google Sites, kung gumagamit po kayo ng sites. Yun ang pinaka-common na ginagamit nyo. Pero try to explore a little bit further. You've got a lot more. You've got the Chrome Music Lab for your music teachers. You have the Arduino Science Journal for our science experiments on the phone. So many more. We've got Google Earth and Google Earth Project. Google My Maps para sa mga history teachers dyan na gustong um, ipin kung saan nagland talaga si Magellan. Alam mo yon yung mga ganon um, and for those people who are teaching math and would like to link math to geography, you have so many tools that you can use within Google My Maps and Google Earth Project. So, so many other tools that you can explore. Don't be afraid to explore. I-click nyo lang po yung waffle. Yun yung 3 by 3 grid na nakikita nyo sa tabi ng pangalan nyo. Tawag namin doon waffle kasi mukha nga naman siyang waffle. No? Click nyo lang yung waffle. Pag meron kayong nakita doon na icon na, ano kaya tong icon na to? Hindi ko pa to alam. Click nyo lang yun. Okay? Ang um, lagi kong sinasabi sa lahat ng webinar ko, for those who have watched me before, hindi nyo kailangan maging techy, Kailangan nyo maging clicky, okay? So, i-click nyo lang, huwag kayong matakot. You don't have to be techy, just be clicky. Okay? <laughs> Diyan lang po tayo matututo sa technology, click lang ng click. Alright, yun lang po ang aking uh, message for tonight at maraming salamat sa um, ating field technician for inviting me. Thank you so much for uh, giving me some time to talk. Okay lang ba, ma'am? Uh, Makapag-ask kami ng mga kaunting uh, questions sa inyo po. Sige, go ahead. Siguro, Sir Art, uh, pwede mong mahinga ng idea si ma'am regarding sa pag-take mo ng exam uh, until now. Wala pang... <laughs> Sige, Sir. Go ahead, Sir. Hindi. Um, uh, sir, uh, hindi naman ako magtatanong dyan sa part na yun. I, I, I do my assignment to prepare myself for, for the exam. So, kumbaga, good okay, ko yun eh. So, fight ko yun. So, siguro sa akin lang ay ano. Uh, Ma'am, thank you very much for uh, having with us. Uh, siguro, I, I'm looking for why na may na maging instrument niyo po ito si Digital Technation for kumbaga ay to share additional uh, Google case na hindi pa hindi pa nadidiscover ng marami. Kumbaga, may mga na-mentions kayo yung Google Apps kanina. Available within the Google Apps sa WAP, uh, WAPOL. So, kumbaga ay uh, kindly Uh, we are looking for a way for you to uh, make use of digital technician as your instrument to share uh, yung parang dap, parang madiscover pa namin more all about Google. Ano, siguro yun, yun lang po ang sakin. Ano, ay, wala pa akong question. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, sir Norman. Norman?
Sir, uh, mahina ang audio, sir. Sir Norman? Mahina ba audio? Ayan. Okay na. Okay, sir. So, wala po akong question regarding sa pag-take ng assessment for Google. But, uh, magaya din po ng Sir Art. Uh, uh, Tais ko rin po sana na ang digital, uh, digital technician is uh, magamit nyo for introducing some uh, features of Google para naman po uh, may share din ng uh, digital technician sa ating mga educators kung ano man po yung mga uh, uh, bagong technology na naibigay ng, uh, na iano ng Google ngayon. So, sabi nga ng Sir Art, ano po, uh, that's our obligation to sa assessment. At papasalamat po sa Google at talagang nagagamit po talaga ng mga educators natin yan. Uh, uh, pagkaya po namin ang Sir Art and Sir Buen at si Sir uh, Rose at po. Yan. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. And then of course, uh, ma'am, uh, I want to thank you uh, for being here in the Digital Tech Nation. Okay. How about Sir uh, Dilema? So, uh, yes. Um, ang masasabi ko lang po is uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity at uh, also with um, uh, I'm excited with uh, yung mga tools, yung mga apps na ini-introduce ni ma'am. So, na-excite ako. I, I, uh, uh, right now, nag explore na ako sa Chrome Music Lab at r 2 no? So, parang, wow, it's nice. Parang gusto ko tong yeah. ano, matutunan na na bago gusto ko may bago na matutunan ayan lang po ayan gusto ko yan sir kasi uh, try niyo yung music lab magagamit yung music lab both for math and for music kasi for some of them actually even yung mga maliliit na bata so kung nagtuturo po kayo ng mga grade 1 or kinder pwede niyo pong gamitin yung music lab kasi music is great for kids, especially for those kids who do not like to talk, lalo na yung mga shy kids, uh, pwede nyo pong magamit yung music lab. Punta lang kayo dun sa isang tools. Marami po kasing tools yan eh. Merong pang percussion, may pang gawa ng songs. Pwede nyo rin pong gamitin yun para sa mga songs nyo. Pwede kayong gumawa ng song para yung um, uh, songs nyo walang ano, copyright. So pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili yung song na walang copyright. And you can ask your uh, students to do the same. Uh, music lab po yun. Yung mga shy kids naman po natin, yung mga K-3 to na shy kids, you can use uh, Kandinsky inside music lab. It's a tool that allows them to draw. So kapag nag-drawing sila, may music yung drawing nila. Kapag every time nag-drawing sila ng something, may music yun. And then they can play the music uh, based on the drawing that they make. So parang... Napakagandang experiment nun. It's called the uh, Kandinsky. It's actually just an experiment ng Google. Sabi ng Google, can we do an experiment? How do we make all of these music concepts available on the web? And uh, yun, 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 Music Lab was born. And uh, it's a really great tool for so many different things around music. Try nyo po yan. Yung Arduino naman, uh, for those people who know how to use Arduino, um, yan po yung sa robotics natin, di ba po? Yung mga nagro-robotics dyan, uh, scratch, di ba? Uh, computational thinking. Ito naman po, gumawa kami ng app, ang pangalan niya dati, Google Science Journal. Pero nag-graduate na siya, nakabeta pa siya dati, Science, Google Science Journal ang pangalan. So ngayon, nag-graduate na siya, ang pangalan na niya ngayon, Arduino Science Journal. So kung meron po kayong iOS or meron kayong Android, okay, i-download uh, nyo lang po sa phone nyo. And mahanap niyo po yan, Arduino Science Journal. Ang gagawin niya is gagamitin niya yung sensors ng phone niyo para mag-measure ng sound, ng light, yung sensitivity, di ba? Yung uh, speed, yung speed ng pababa, paakyat, or pa sideways, at iba-ibang bagay. So, ngayong naka-online distance learning tayo, it's so hard to do experiments with your students. Ang gawin niyo is have them use their phone to measure and then yung mga measurements na yun, they can export in a Google Sheet. And yung mga measurements na yun, pwede na nilang i-analyze. So that's a really, really good way for you to start using experiments or using the phone for your experiment. Finally, yung pong Google Earth, 
It's uh, pwede po kayo mag-create ng map, ng story, ng history project. You can even take the students where the bus cannot go, you know. Because in Google Earth, you have 3D models in Google Earth as well. So gusto nyo siyang dalin sa Paris. Gusto nyo siya, silang dalin sa mga, alam nyo yung mga sinkholes in the face of the Earth. Uh, you can actually create a whole collection in Earth Project. At marami pang iba. So I look forward, uh, Sir Benavides, to being a part of uh, Field Technician, Digifield Digi Technician later on para ipakita itong mga ibang tools na to. Gaya ng sabi ko sa lahat, mag-join kayo sa GEG. Our Google Educator Groups are always there and you are welcome. If you want to be a GEG leader, reach out to our GEG leaders so that you can uh, get nominated and you can form your own chapter uh, of community of helpful teachers inside your own towns or uh, cities. Yun lang po. Yes, ma'am. Actually, ma'am, kami ni Sir uh, Dilima po, ma'am, you're applying for uh, GEG Mambaling. And waiting na lang po kami sa ano mga steps na... Sir, gagawin. saan po ang Mambaling? Uh, sa Cebu City po, ma'am. Ah, sa Cebu. Sige. Hmm. Bibisita ko dyan one of these days. Uh, I've started traveling again, thank goodness, at bumababa na ang ating uh, level 2 na si Metro Manila. No? Bumababa na yung cases. Salamat sa Diyos. Uh, at ibig sabihin nun, makakalabas-labas na ulit. And uh, that means being able to go to the Philippines, go around the Philippines again. So kung taga-mambaling po kayo, one of these days, bibisita po ako dyan. Uh, Mag-coordinate lang ako with the SDS and with the LGU as well. At yun lang naman, din lang naman ako napo-coordinate if ever. Ngayon po, kung uh, maraming tao nang nagtatanong, paano po kami makakuha ng mga vouchers, ganyan, uh, for a Google certification, Actually, nagdo-donate po yung Google ng vouchers. So, kakadonate lang namin ng vouchers sa DepEd. So, inside Department of Education po, pwede nyo pong um, kontakin yung inyong uh, respective ITOs ng inyong division. Or pwede nyo rin kontakin ang ETU, ang EdTech unit. Ano? Kasi this is, uh, this is being led by Ma'am Rowena Reyes. Ma'am Rowena Reyes is also part of GEG. And all, all you have to do is to reach out to uh, DEP at ICTS ETU uh, via Rowena Reyes. And she's the one handling some of the vouchers that we have given. The other set of vouchers we, are, uh, we have already turned over to NAYAP. So for those who have been part of the NAYAP training naman, uh, you also get vouchers there as part of the NAYAP training. And you also get credit. You know? um, if you want to become a Google Certified Trainer one day, then wala kayong magagawa, kailangan yung gawin yung L1 at L2. Hindi po kayo makakapag-apply as a trainer without the L1 and L2 muna. Yun muna ang first step. So, yun lang po, uh, Sir Benavides. No problem, invite me next time. Pasensya na, medyo na late ako kasi galing yes, sa labas ma kanina. Ayan. Okay. So, <clears throat> Sa mga viewers natin, baka mayroon kayong mga concern na gustong iparating kay uh, Miss Mary. So, we're inviting you to use our uh, comment section po para maparating natin kay Miss Mary regarding sa mga Google Tools, for example, certifications or steps on how, especially na-mention ni ma'am yung SANIAP. Ano yung mga steps doon? Okay? Ah, ito ma'am. Ah, uh, May voucher din yes. po ba for level 2? Of course. So, oh, syempre. So, bakit ganun? Bakit kami nagbibigay ng vouchers for both L1 and L2? Actually, tatlong klaseng vouchers yan. L1, L2, at saka trainer assessment voucher. So, paano ba makukuha yung trainer assessment voucher? Ganun din, ano? Yung trainer assessment voucher, kasi pagpasado ka na sa L1 and L2, pwede kang trainer assessment. Bakit? kung talagang balak mong mag-apply as a Google Certified Trainer. Kasi pa pag mag-a-apply kayo as a Google Certified Trainer, yun ang pinakaunang um, requirement. No? Dapat pasado kayo sa trainer assessment. And then pangalawa, dapat meron na kayong L1, L2 certification. Pangatlo, kailangan gumawa kayo ng video. Video yan, na dalawang klase ng video yan. Isang video lang yan, pero... The first minute, you have to introduce yourself. Why do you want to become a Google Certified Trainer? The next part of the video is a tutorial that you want to do. You want to show us the skill of being able to train how to use the Google tools. So part yun. And then, of course, kailangan po kasi po nag-L1, L2 kayo, you help others, no? 
Alam niyo naman sa Google, part ng Googleness yan, being helpful. So, Google kayo pag helpful kayo. So, ibig sabihin nun, nakapag-training na kayo sa limang sets of people. Yung uh, every set of person that you that you would teach, minimum of five people. So, kahit na limang tao lang matraining nyo, okay na yun, ano, mag-training po kayo, limang ano yan, kailangan may feedback form. So, meron din kayo dapat na materials na nagawa para dun sa inyong training. At yun ang gagamitin nyo ng case study nyo. So, you have to list five trainings that you've done and you have to create a case study. So, it's not actually a simple thing to become a Google Certified Trainer. May proseso. Pero doable. Definitely doable. You just need to make sure na gawin nyo lahat ng mga yun. So, magsimula muna kayo sa L1. And then L2, pag pumasa kayo, meron naman tayong voucher dyan. And then trainer assessment. And then magsimula po kayo mag-train ng mga tao. Ayan. And may magagamit na kayo for your case study. And then, prepare your video. After that, submit. And then, wait for the result. Ayan. Wait for the result. Ako naman ay very supportive. I'm always uh, so excited to see uh, applications. Um, Siyempre, hindi po ako nagre-review ng application, FYI. Wala akong say dyan kung papasa kayo o hindi. So, uh, mga tao po sa US yung nag um, iba, iba ibang parts of the world yung nagre-review ng trainer application so kung gusto nyo pong gawin yung tutorial nyo in Tagalog, walang problema kung Filipino mother tongue, it's not a problem just make sure that you have subtitles in English because the people that will be uh, reviewing your uh, application can only speak English okay, alam nyo naman tayo multilingual <laughs> not everybody is multilingual so, yan po ang sagot niya kay Mr. Manny, you know, may voucher po. Definitely, kung pumasa na po sa L1, hihihin nyo lang po yung voucher for L2, mag-review para sa advance. Yan, nagpapasa kayo. Okay. Ayan, mukhang yun lang naman, sir, ang ating question. Uh, yes, ma'am. And also, ma'am, uh, inform na rin po uh, kita, ma'am, uh, Kung uh, walang problema, this coming uh, 14, 15, and 16, uh, magkakaroon po kami ng first uh, boot camp po dito sa Regifil Tech Nation. Uh, with regards to helping our educators, uh, at least naman po medyo familiar na sila sa mga tools para during sa examination for level 1, uh, medyo may alam na po sila. Still with the help of uh, Sir Delima din po. Ayan, gusto ko yan. Magaling talaga si Sir Delima eh. Yan makinig kayo dyan. At uh, he's very, very good. So just let me know. Pag may kailangan kayo, uh, kung kailangan nyo ng tulong or anything like that, I'll, I'm definitely here to help. I, I also know that DepEd ETU is, I've uh, been working very closely with them. And if you need help from them, Sir, uh, Sir Dalima, kung gusto nyo pong ano, di ko po alam kung kilala nyo na si Mamoeng. Pero kung hindi nyo pa po kilala si Mamoeng, uh, pakilala po kayo kasi makakatulong po siya dun sa mga training nyo. Kailangan niya po na tulong. Uh, Dahil, uh, po kami sa Google chat uh, with regards yung Google Groups. Ayan, good, good, good. Maganda yan. So, uh, humingi po kayo ng tulong sa kanya kung kailangan nyo kasi sa totoo lang siya yung nangangailangan ng tulong nyo. Uh, she likes many, many people doing training on Google. So, mag-reach out lang po kayo kay Mamoeng. And she... Okay. Yes, Sabi ni Sir Manny, available din po ba for private schools? Unfortunately, Sir Manny, wala pa po kaming um, drive right now to provide uh, vouchers for private schools. As of the moment, private schools are actually buying the vouchers themselves. Um, kasi walang parang singular place where we can coordinate with. Siguro at some point, I'm going to try and reach out to Paku and uh, kayo po yung mag-provide. Nakita niyo naman po yung email address ko. Send me an email, let me know sino ba yung dapat kong kakoordinate na private schools and maybe we can coordinate with them and um, and help out yung mga private schools that want to go uh, Google. Isa sa mga napansin ko kasi sir sa mga private schools, may mga edtech coordinators kayo and you actually do have budget sometimes. Ang issue kasi namin sa DepEd, minsan kulang talaga yung budget. Kaya kailangan talaga naming um, tulungan, ano, konting push para makapagpa-certify ng teachers. Pero maraming salamat sa lahat po na nagpa-certify na dahil sa inyo, isa po tayo sa may pinakamaraming certification sa buong Asia. Um, at uh, mataas ang ating passing rate, everyone. Kaya good job talaga, mga Filipino teachers. I am so proud every time I have to show 
our numbers. Ibig sabihin, ang mga Pilipino magagaling. Diba? Sabihin nyo lang, Sir Manny, reach out to me. And um, I can help you. Okay, uh, may co-admins and speaker. Any uh, concern pa ba para kay Miss Mary? Sir Art, Sir Norman? Ayun, so wala na siguro Sir Buen. Kumbaga ay we are very much uh, thankful na napaka-open ni Ma'am uh, Mary uh, sa lahat na siguro sa pwede niya itulong sa Digital Technician at sa ating mga educators regarding sa sa Google certification. Ano sa level 1 to level 2 to uh, trainer. Ayun. So, yes, screenshot niyo na po mga my dear educators yung uh, yung uh, email ad ni ma'am para anytime pwede niyo po siya ma, ma pwede po kayo makapag uh, communicate sa kanya and uh, ang tinitingnan po namin ngayon na, ay sorry sir go ahead just go, so go ahead po ma'am ang uh, tinitingnan ko ngayon is baka sakali para sa mga private school schools natin na nakikinig i'm gonna try and see kung pwede akong magkaroon ng arrangement with the communities kasi yung ating Google Educator groups, uh, possibly baka doon na lang ako mag-go uh, mag, uh, through doon sa mga vouchers kasi the communities themselves have been training other people for certification. It might be a better idea for me to course the vouchers through the GEGs. So um, para may isang lugar lang kung saan ko nilalagay yung mga vouchers, hindi siya kalat-kalat. So um, Ang maganda rin doon is magiging member kayo ng isang group of ano teachers na makakatulong sa inyo uh, para makapumasa kayo. So, sige sir, uh, may tanong lang po ako, sir Benavides, at saka sir Rosel. Doon po ba sa application nyo for GEG uh, ng Mambaling, uh, nasabi nyo na po ba kay uh, JD at saka kay Gary? Uh, yes ma'am, and then according ni sir JD, uh, start na daw po niyang i, ano, uh, nominate yung sa GEG Mambaling. So, bali ah, na. Ah, uh, uh, yes po. Ako din mag-approve nun, sir. So, uh, basta ka sa akin lang, nakikitaan ko kayo ng ganitong klase ng ano. Ganun lang naman ng GEG, sir. Eh. Kailangan ah, yes, nakikitaan kayo ng initiative na gumagawa kayo ng mga ganitong webinar para tumulong. Sa mga teachers, ang bawat isa dito sa mga webinar na to, ililista nyo to as a GEG activity, ano? Uh, as part of GEG Mambaling. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll wait for the nomination and uh, definitely as early as now, masasabi ko na sa inyo na approve kayo, di ba? Thank you, Ma'am. You're welcome, sir. So, looking forward tayo magkaroon ng GEG Mambaling um, in cooperation with uh, Digifield Tech Nation. And then also din po, Ma'am, sa mga kasamahan ko si na Sir Art at si Sir Norman, uh, si Sir Art po, Ma'am, ay waiting na lang po sa result kasi nag-take na po siya ng exam sa LMS sa DepEd. Wait na lang po si Sir Art ma'am para makuha niya po yung uh, voucher para makapag-take ng exam kasi nag din po sila ng ano, uh, GEG. Uh, Lian ba yan Sir Art? Lian or Batangas? Yes sir, yes sir. Lian Batangas. Hmm. Lian nice. Batangas sir. Hmm. Sige sir, gusto ko yan. Hmm. Yes po ma'am. So looking forward din po sila ma'am uh, sa result ni Sir Art para makapag uh, first move na din po ma'am. Okay. Okay. So again po ma'am, uh, maraming salamat talaga sa presensya niyo po. Uh, walang pagdadalawang isip sa uh, short notice po na invitation ko regarding sa activity po namin ngayon. And also po uh, kay Sir Dilema, uh, short notice, nag o din. But again other viewers, uh, kung titignan naman natin si Ms. Mary sa iba't ibang mga webinars, ganyan talaga ang pagkugali ni ma'am. Very open, uh, very accommodating. Uh, very helpful at taka walang ano uh, walang kung magbigay ng mga advice mga ways on or mga methods on how to solve problems ganyan talaga po si Miss Mary so walang walang pag-alilangan po Yan ang googly sir googly kami <laughs> Mr. <Ni> Dalima <laughs> Okay So I think uh Sir Art di ba Sir Norman wala tayong nakikitang mga questions Wala Para sa session natin. Uh, si Ma'am Leosel, ayun, uh, kung pwede daw siya uh, mag-take ng test. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, syempre, lahat naman kung pwede mag-take ng test. As long as uh, equipped with knowledge. Yeah. 
Yes po, sir. Uh, Ma'am Mary, additional lang po siguro. Uh, Kumbaga sa inyo na po manggaling, in case na walang voucher, magkano yung kailangan bayadan ng gusto mag-take na exam for level 1? Okay, so ang level 1 po is $10, so parang 500 pesos. Uh, as you can see, hindi naman po ganun kamahal, ano? 500 pesos yung level 1. Yung level 2 po natin ay $25. So yun po yung uh, mas mahal yung level 2. Tapos yung ating trainer assessment is $15. Yun po yung presyo niya. So 10, 25, 15. So lahat-lahat, kung gusto niyo maging GCT, uh, Google Certified Coach, or Google Certified Innovator, kailangan niyo i-take yung uh, uh, dalawa at least uh, dun sa yung L1, L2. So mga $35 din yung gagastasin niyo. Pero believe me, it's worth it. This is a three-year validity kind of voucher. You get a certificate from Google and you can apply the certificate globally. So this is a globally recognized uh, certificate. So even if you go abroad, even if you move to a different school, an international school even, and if you present this certification, it's going to be valid and it will be recognized. So uh, I, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Before we started giving to DepEd before, people were just buying it. They were just buying the vouchers because it's just really great professional development for uh, for them. Uh, malaking tulong din po ito. Isama nyo na rin sa inyong portfolio, ano? sa inyong uh, accomplishment report. Kasama na rin. Ilagay nyo na rin yan sa inyong accomplishment report. Natututunan ko na, Sir Rosie, mm -hmm. yung mga kailangan, kailangan ng mga DepEd teachers. Eh. Na yun pala, sabi nila, ma'am, kailangan po namin yan sa accomplishment. <laughs> Isa akong uh, beneficiary sa voucher for L1, ma'am. <laughs> sa division, yes. So, dahil Opo, doon, actually, Sir, kahit na hindi mo nga, ano, kahit na hindi ka nga beneficiary, eh, kahit na ikaw mismo yung gumastos, basta you have to make sure na yung certificate na makukuha mo kasama yun sa accomplishment mo. Kasi it's an international certification. And alam nyo naman yung puntos nun, di ba? Uh, alam na alam ng mga DepEd teachers ilang puntos yun. Di ba? Pag international ang certification, internationally recognized, uh, medyo mataas ang puntos. So, so sa L2, ayun, uh, nag, uh, ako na talaga yung nagbabayad kasi parang na-excite ako eh. Parang I can't wait to do it. <laughs> I can't wait for the next step. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yan ang bingo ko, Clay, sir. <laughs> ayun na yun. Ayun na yun, sir. Oo. So even in my case, ma'am, uh, sir, uh, my level 1 also uh, shell out uh, coming from my own pocket but... Uh, Ano naman, worth it naman. Uh, kahit, uh, but with regards na naman sa ano, pagiging certify, uh, yung uh, uh, 500, uh, ano naman, uh, very worth naman, lang lalo na sa pag-share natin sa mga, kasi minsan sa school ay magkakaroon din ka, ako ng ano, uh, short, uh, parang kumbaga coaching sa mga kasamahan kong uh, gustong matuto. So at least kung mag-share tayo ay very, ano, uh, very confident tayo kasi may hinahawakan tayo na ano, uh, paper na mag-share sa mga kasamahan natin. So again, okay, so, uh, yeah, so definitely okay. Sige, uh, go ahead, sir. Yes. Okay, so sa mga educators natin na kasama na natin sa viewers natin, uh, kumbaga ay wala nang bang wala nang ibang reason para hindi tayo uh, mag-push through with our uh, GCE. Uh, so ito po by uh, next week magkakaroon, magpo-provide po ang uh, digital technician ng uh, bootcamp for your, your preparation to uh, uh, level 1. Yan. And uh, lahat po ito for free. Uh, even mag-proceed uh, kayo with uh, uh, edu.google.com Again, for free pa rin po yun. So wala kayong mabayadan. So no excuses na po tayo. So we are looking forward now with the help of digital technician marami pong uh, ma-encourage na mag-take ng level 1 uh, pupunta sa level 2 uh, together with the help of our uh, research speaker this afternoon and with Mama Mary. Yan. So looking forward po sa mga viewers natin makasama namin kayo with our bootcamp by next uh, week. So Ben, please. Okay. So, so isa sa mga important announcement po ay ito po ang mga upcoming events po namin. Okay. So sa November 13, kay App Smashing on Wakelet. So with regards to App Smashing, Still, we, we can use also other Google tools or Google applications para ma-apps mas sa Wakelet. And then 
making worksheets interactive and then also deep dive on google drive and then sa december naman ay meron po kaming appearance sa uh, uh, DICT cluster 3 marindoke and then uh, miss mary topic po ni sir art doon ay ano uh, paggawa ng uh, school Class portal website. using the google sites is same po sa uh, Institute of Global Professionals. So, ginagamit talaga namin yung mga uh, Google applications po. Okay? Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, you deserve this, uh, Sir Dilema. So, Sir Art, uh, can you do the honor, Sir Art? Okay, so from a digital technician, a certificate of recognition. Uh, this certificate is awarded to uh, Rosilo M. De Lima for his invaluable contribution as a resource speaker on being Google, uh, the friendliness of Google during digital technician webinar held on November 6, uh, 2021 by YouTube Live. So given the sixth day of November, a 2021 Digital Technician Cebu City signed by the three administrators, uh, Sir Art, Sir Norman, and uh, Sir Benavides. Congratulations, sir, and thank you for uh, having you here at Digital Technician. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Para sa viewers naman natin for our evaluation and also to get your uh, certificate. So still, we're using... Uh, the same, uh, one of the Google tool, okay, the Google Forms. Then also you can scan our QR code and then you will be directed sa uh, Google Forms po natin. So may limang katanungan lang po doon, very simple, uh, as a self-check po sa discussion natin uh, tonight. And then automatic na po yung makukuha yung uh, certificate para sa mga viewers po natin. Okay. Um, siguro, I will not hold you long, uh, Miss Mary. Uh, again, uh, maraming salamat po talaga sa uh, pag-attend ng session namin uh, tonight. So, looking forward po, siguro, maybe uh, next time, invite ka namin ulit po, uh, Miss Mary. Of course. Mary. Of course. Salamat ng marami sa pag-invite and thank you so much everybody for spending time to learn tonight. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Bye po, ma'am. Bye. Well, stay safe always, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so again. Okay, so. Uh, yan, so sige, para po kay Sir Rose. Okay, Rose Lu. Um, kindly, sir, uh, invite po natin ang mga educators natin sa ating upcoming uh, boot camp with the digital technician. So inform na lang kita uh, sir uh, sir uh, Rosso. Uh, makakasama po natin si Sir Sherwin uh, Lumeda po. Isa pong IT specialist po. So bali uh, paghahatian po yung mga topics. So siguro i-arrange ko lang yung po yung anong mga specific topics uh, para sa iyo at para kay sir and then kung makakita pa tayo ng iba if may ma-recommend ka pa po. So mas maganda siguro. At least uh, mas detail po yung discussion dito at dito po kayo masyadong ano uh, mahihirapan. Si Bruce, uh, division of labor. Division, uh, yes. Uh, but ibang ano, apps. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, again, um, we're having our first boot camp po dito sa DG Field Technician. And uh, di po yun magiging uh, successful without the support po sa aking mga co-admin, Sir Norman, Sir Art. And also sa magiging uh, speakers po natin, isa na po ngayon ay nandito si Sir uh, Dilima pag-support sa DG Field Technician. And congrats po sir, kasi according ni ma'am, i-approve eh, na po daw tayo. Oh, congrats sana sir. Nga po. Thank you. Sana po. Yes. Congrats sa atin lahat sir. <laughs> okay. okay. Congrats, congrats. Sana all. Yeah. So sa mga viewers po natin, uh, pwede pa po kayong mag-invite ng mga kasama nyo. And uh, free to all po ang ating magiging, open for all po ang ating magiging boot camp uh, for this coming week. So lahat po uh, we welcome po namin kayo na maging bahagi ng bootcamp ng ating uh, 
for preparation sa ating Google Level 1 and uh, with the help of digital technician. So, wala po kami doong uh, hindi tatanggapin. Ano po. So, we are about to... Uh, Sir Buen, we are about to give a uh, registration form siguro sa Facebook page na lang natin for us to determine the number of uh, participants of our upcoming bootcamp and uh, kung paano natin i-group yung ating mga participants kung madami po yes. sila. And also, hiling na namin mga admin sa DJ Field Technicians is magkakaroon po tayo ng bootcamp. Hindi po yan mangyari isang araw. So, we're encouraging everyone to attend from day one up to the last day po. Uh, at yes. least po, uh, continuous pong learning po natin kasi ang hirap naman po, day two lang tayo. And then, day three, di, di po tayo nakapag-attend sa day one. At if manyari po yan, since ito naman po ay auto-recorded, so at your own pace, so start from uh, the day one po. Kahit uh, nasa team replay po tayo. At least complete din po natin ang uh, knowledge natin. Still, kahit uh, team replay tayo. Okay? So again, this has been a uh, DJ Field Technician. Okay, with my co-admins and also the speaker uh, this session, uh, Sir Dilema. Once again, thank you so much for joining with us. And stay safe always. Okay, join us for our next uh, webinars. Goodbye, so, sir. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Bye. sir. Bye. Okay, uh, goodbye, po, sir. Goodbye, sir. Maraming maraming Bye, salamat sir. po. Thank you, uh, sir. Keep safe po always. Yes, keep safe. Okay. Keep safe po. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you po. Thank you po. Yan. Okay, so, sir, when siguro remind din lang natin yung ating mga viewers, uh, when it comes to certification, sa pag-claim ng certificate of participation, we have a limit of 100 uh, certificates and uh, nagre-reset yung system natin yung auto generate certificate natin nagre-reset naman siya after 24 hours ayan so yung mga yes, kumbaga batch by batch uh, first batch natin is 100 the first 100 uh, mm -hmm. na nakapag-fill up ng ating evaluation form uh, maka receive po sila ng certificate then kung hindi po nakaabot na kumbaga na na meet na po ng uh, system natin yung ating 100 then na uh, next day po pwede po kayo alert mag proceed for you to claim your certificate yeah. yes sir so, so we have over po, um, 67 to webinar yes sir so bali ganito po ang mangyari kung nakapag take po tayo at uh, it happens na nag close po but you, you already uh, filled up so wala na po yung problema and then yung mag refill up pa lang din na po makapag uh, fill up uh, don't worry po kasi after 24 hours following day pwede na po tayo makapag fill up ulit and then uh, mabibigyan din po kayo ng uh, certificate again the reset every after 24 hours po anyway mag announce naman ako sa FB page kung kailan po mag open pwede na po kayo mag uh, fill up pwede niyo po ang i-claim ang inyong certificates so meron na po tayong uh, constant uh, communication with regards to announcements Okay, so once again, okay, thank you so much. Uh, good night po sa lahat. Okay. Bye, Sir Art. Sir Norman. Thank you very much po sa lahat na nag-join. Oh, thank you, Mang Leo Sil. Bye for now. Thank you, thank you. Okay, salamat po, Sir Ruben, Sir Roland, and uh, Ma'am Leo Sil. Sir Buen, maraming salamat din. Yes, Sir. Uh, magandang gabi po sa lahat. Yan po. Signing up po. Okay, Sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Sir Art. Bye-bye po sa lahat.